Hello kids, welcome to another episode of Careless Kids Online. I'm Patrick and this is my son Brian. Today we are celebrating an important day. Hmm? Yeah, before I tell you what's that important day, first let's stand up and worship the Lord together. There is 
Welcome back. Today we are celebrating an important day. Celebrating an important day? What important day? Is it the King's birthday? <coughs> no, it's Father's Day, remember? Oh yeah, whoops, I totally forgot to get you a gift there. Oh, uh, it's okay, Brian. What do you mean it's okay? Don't you want a gift? I don't need a gift from you, son. Just knowing you love me is good enough. Oh. Really? Wow. No present needed? Oof. That would never work for mom. Oh, definitely not. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Yeah, thank you. As it is Father's Day today, we would like to wish all fathers a happy Father's Day. Let's start off the celebration by checking out how much our friends at Carrie's Kids know about their dads, shall we? What is your dad really good at? My dad is really good at arts. My dad is good at running, swimming, playing football, and cooking. My dad is really good at making people laugh. He is a very funny person. My dad is really good at driving. My dad is really good at making balloons. What is something dad always says to you? To be happy and don't worry and make people feel good. Hi, my dad. Study hard, get good grades, go into a good school, and um, try to be successful in life. But then, always say good morning to me. Always be happy, do not be jealous, be kind. To study hard. What is your dad's favorite food? Yum and bitter leaf soup. Is my mom cookie and cakes. My father likes to eat bananas. Seafood specifically, like different types of fishes, um, crabs, uh, lobsters, squid, sashimi, sushi that contains seafood. My dad loves cheese and chocolate. What do you and your dad do together? 
My dad and I like to make people laugh. I enjoy watching cow with my father. My dad always like to tell stories for me. My dad and I like to play badminton, play football, and even swimming. When I was younger, my dad would always bring my whole family to the beach uh, whenever we go on a vacation. Thankfully, uh, what me and my dad like is that we would like to go down to, at the beach at night uh, carrying a bucket and a shovel to capture some little crabs that roam at night at the beach. It is a very fun thing to do because um, you have to chase after something really small and also really fast. I would say that it's a pretty adventurous thing to do. Now that I think of it, those beautiful memories. Uh, I wish I could go back and do all those things to my father. Why do you love your dad? I love my dad because he is the best dad I ever had. I love my dad because he loves me more. I love my dad because he is funny. I really love my dad because he's a very hardworking person. I also really love him because he is a very supportive person. Whenever I share my dreams or even my ideas, he would encourage me and support me. I love my dad because he's my father. He take care of me when I'm small and now too. He help us to be happy. Wow, it's so heartwarming to see our friends talk about their dads. Oh yes, Brian. It seems that every father is very, very special to the hearts of our friend in the interview. Do you know that God appointed our father to be the head of our family? And even though we have different fathers, but we have one common father, which is our Lord, the Savior, our God, who created us, our Heavenly Father, and He loves us. How much does our Father God loves us then? Oh, that's a good question. Well, you know how much I love you, isn't it? Yes, and you are quite a good dad. What do you mean by quite a good dad? Um, well, okay, you are a good dad. Oh, that's better. Uh, so, when you have a good dad, is it easy for you to picture what's God's love? But what about those children without a father or do not experience their dad's love? Um, our human father are not perfect. It's just like me, I'm not perfect too. And sometimes we cannot be around or we, we mess up. But our fa heavenly father is and he will always be there for you. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, uh, the Bible says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. The God who made us and everything around us called us His children, and He lavished His love on us. What's lavish then? Oh, lavish means to give someone generous amount of something. So this will say God give us generous and huge amount of love. Alright, does that mean that God will give me anything I want? Oh, no, 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 hang on, hang on. It doesn't mean that. Just as I will not give you something I know it will hurt you or to, do, to let you do something that it will harm you. Even if you get angry, I will still not let you do it or to give it to you because I love you. And God always has our, your best interest at heart because He loves you and wants to protect you from harm. Let me demonstrate that what this means. Okay, let me show you this. If this represent you, okay, I'm uh, trying to pull the balloon out. Well, okay, see, if this is represent you, let me write your name here. Well, if you imagine if this is something that is gonna hurt you, the things that are on your way that are gonna harm you, you think if I, if there's no protection, if, if I, this thing come all the way to you, what will happen? It's gonna burst, of course. Oh yes, you are right. Ah, <laughs> this show that that's, you will get hurt, isn't it? Now let's try again with when with the father's nerve. Let's take a, another piece of a balloon and we go to tape it with father's love on it, and we see what will happen. This one represents that's a father's love. Wow! Wow! 
father's love. Okay. So let's see if this is the same thing that going to hurt Brian. You see what will happen. So now when you are protected by father's love around you, and when harm comes your way, uh, it will not hurt you. You will, you will get protected. That's amazing. But what about those children who do not have fathers or who could not experience their father's love? Well, mm, yes, you are right. And sometimes even we, as, uh, as a father, we will not be able to be around you all the time. We, are, uh, we have limitation. Our capability to help you are limited. And whether we are around or not around, whether we are doing good or doing bad, our, only our Heavenly Father is always there to protect you and to lavish His love on, on you. Let me give you another illustration. Okay? You hold this. Okay. This is the limit that I will get as a father, the love that I can only give you. That's the limit that I have, even though I give you all my love. But our Heavenly Father is not. Our God's love is unlimited. And He can lavish us with His love all the time until we are also in with His love. Yes, I understand this then. So, our earthly Father have a limit on the love that they can give us, but our Heavenly Father do not. Yeah, okay, right. by the way, that I wasn't joking that I said I didn't get you a gift. Of course I got you a gift. Happy Father's Day, that. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you, Brian. Hi boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us in today's Father's Day program. We sure learn a lot from Teacher Patrick and Teacher Brian. What we learn is that God says our father, our daddy, is actually the head of the family. Of course, he is helped by mommy. And daddy is responsible to protect the family from all harm. He works very hard to provide food on the table and a home for us. And most importantly, Daddy is the person who should be leading us in the way that God wants us to live. So, if you have not done so today, go and look for your dad after this program. Give him a hug. Say thank you, Daddy, for all your hard work and say Happy Father's Day to him. I'm sure he'll be very happy. But do you know what? That's even more exciting news. Whether our father here on earth is a good father who loves us or our father is not around, cannot be around, or he's not doing such a good job, the good news is that we have a heavenly father. Because the Bible says if we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, then we are known as children of God. Children of God! Can you imagine that? We have a perfect Heavenly Father who loves us and who will protect us and who will help us always, always, right? So, a Heavenly Father. So today, other than saying a happy Father's Day to our daddy, we also want to say a thank you and happy Father's Day to our Heavenly Father. Let's pray. Dear Daddy God, we want to come together today, Lord, and say thank you so much for calling us your children and for us to be able to call you our Heavenly Father. We want to say thank you so much and we want to say Happy Father's Day to you today and we ask that you bless our daddies on earth as well and we thank you for giving us our daddies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, go and have a good time with your daddy. Do something nice together as a family for him and we look forward to seeing you in the next lesson or the next program. See you soon. Bye.